What's up guys, my name is Jiangs and welcome to today's video that's gonna be a little bit different because I'm doing my contribution to the Danish campaign. Uh, we have about anxiety called Speak Up Now translated and in that case I'm gonna talk about my anxiety. I have spoken about my anxiety before but I haven't gone into detail. So this is my contribution to hopefully get you guys out there to speak up about your condition out there because that's the first step to getting better so here we go I guess so I had anxiety since I was a little kid about eight years old I started getting my first panic attacks and I remember it very clearly my first attack on on panic and anxiety was uh, when I was laying in my bed uh, and I was watching Discovery Channel and I saw a documentary about uh, the universe and then I started to realize that my life is not gonna be forever uh, as a little kid and that's so sad for a little kid to discover so I, I, I panicked and called my mom and she came to me and I was crying and I told her I didn't want to die. So uh, she said to me that everybody is going to die sometime. And from that day on, that just printed inside my brain that that we all going to die. And that's a fact. And that's in basic, that's fine. <laughs> but but as a little kid that just printed inside my brain and since there I had been di diagnosed with death, anxiety and forced thoughts. I think that's the right term. Uh, and what that basically does is that in situations my brain forced me to think about the day I'm gonna die and how it's gonna feel. And basically uh, in my childhood, uh, it wasn't that bad. It was basically only in the evenings. It was hard uh, to go to sleep, so I, I hold on to all my uh, stuffed animals and teddy bears and funny things in my bed, and it all had to lay in specific places, or else I will get total anxiety and panic attacks. Uh, and then I had to watch TV, and I do that today also. I, I can't fall asleep if I don't have something to watch because if I if I just go to bed and I lay and just stare into the dark, I will get insane and I will get very bad anxiety attacks. Um, basically, when I started being a teenager, uh, it got worse, much worse, and it, it started to irritate me in school. Um, because I was so tired, because I uh, I haven't got any sleep, or else I was falling asleep very very late, Be and, and it, it it was basically pretty hard to be a teenager, and I was only always the bad kid in town. Uh, at some point, what I didn't know back then was also that I have a diagnosis of ADD. So my school time was basically me sitting, drawing, making music with <laughs> pencils and uh, just being the bad kid in class who always got thrown out. And, and, and that just escalated for me to do other things than being in school. So I start cutting classes and I, and I start being a bad kid. My, my parents started to notice that I had some anxiety-like things, so I got to a therapist. Uh, later on in my teenage years, I was about 16, and I got to a therapist, uh, one of the best in the country. And I had like 10 sessions with this guy, and he told me that my anxiety has clutched to my brain at some point so a lot of sessions could help a little bit but the only thing that really could help was medication at this point my anxiety has got so bad so it was like um, force thoughts about dying like five to ten times a day and it started evolving to social anxiety and death anxiety and forced thoughts. I got to the doctor 
and they gave me some medications and I got very sick from the medications and I tried some other medication then and some other and some other and some other I think I have been on 10 different medications and nothing helped at all it was just making me sick and nausea and dizzy and stuff so um, then it started to develop more it only got worse I was not speaking to anybody about it I was just trying to forget about it as much as I could uh, I was not telling anyone about my anxiety because nobody could help apparently now my anxiety attacks started to connect with events like if I go to a tank station I will get anxiety attacks and and think about dying and how I'm gonna die uh, I was getting anxiety attacks from playing games hearing music and stuff like that like events and like in the dark if I looked in the dark I would get an anxiety attack and then we come up to when I became a parent it became very very bad and the anxiety took over so I started drinking drinking a lot I was drinking like almost a bottle of wine every night just to fall asleep and uh, that that was very sad for me and uh, my daughter uh, because I just couldn't be anywhere I was just what you call a bad parent and uh, I look back and, and think about I should have taken more responsibility about myself but my anxiety just took over and I couldn't do anything about it I was just like trapped because I wasn't talking about it and didn't get help I was taking medication but it didn't help it just got me more tired and I couldn't sleep so I got even more tired and then when it all fell apart and I fell to the bottom I was uh, I was very down and my daughter was growing up and uh, she's five now by the way when I got alone I started to realize I had to pull myself together so I started talking a little about it and even there it helped a lot and then life came back to normal. I found Sela, my beautiful and wonderful girlfriend, who is helping me so damn much. I. It's so important to have people around you who, who care about you. That's the most important part and that you talk about it. And I start being a little bit more open about my anxiety and told her about it. And she told me about her problems and we helped each other. A lot and then something else happened like a lot of events after another a lot of events happened after each other that like sparked my anxiety back up and, and that's why at this point I'm over 200 subscribers on my channel here and and I couldn't be more grateful um, I haven't been active lately because my anxiety has blushed up again and it like pulled me back to that point where I started uh, corroborating with the events and the anxiety. So every time I go to work the long way when I hear music in the radio and I had an anxiety attack where I heard some kind of music, the anxiety blush up again and I start thinking about dying, how I'm gonna die, how it's gonna feel, what's gonna happen and <laughs> this is more hard than i was this was this is more hard than i was expecting my anxiety start blushing up again i got to a point where i was starting thinking very bad things like i i wished that my mother never born me i wished i never existed i wished that i'd never tasted life I start feeling like I don't deserve it and I start thinking about that it's life is just so unfair 
and I got pulled down and that's and, and that's the reason I haven't been as active on my channel as I used to and then I started seeing the campaign in Denmark where you have to speak up about anxiety so that's what I'm doing right now I'm speaking up and I have spoken up to my wonderful lovely girlfriend Silla I love you with all my heart you support me every day in my struggles I have I couldn't be more grateful for what I have and I want to be with this girl forever because I, I can't imagine how I'm gonna pull through life without her then we gonna then we started talking more and more about it and I'm getting better I'm feeling better a lot better and it's only thanks to the one closest to me right now my girlfriend uh, because we talk about this stuff then we started to investigate if there's any other things we can do and we talked about it back and forward and we got on tried some new things I can't speak about it because it's not it's, it's not legal but it's helping a hell of a lot and 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 that's what the beautiful thing about this is it's a, 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 that you can talk to someone and you come through to solutions because if you if you just hold it in yourself and try to say to yourself that you just you just have to, to think about something else or you just have to put it in a box and throw it away you won't get anywhere you will just be stuck with yourself and your thoughts and and, and that doesn't help anyone so please for the love of yourself for the love of your family and friends speak up now and I occur everybody out there every youtuber who watched this video every person out there with anxiety speak up about it it will help you guys and if you are a youtuber with anxiety speak up make a video like mine let's make a campaign right now here on YouTube for people out there with anxiety with any struggles at all if you are a youtuber and you have struggles make a video about it telling everybody it's okay to talk about it's okay to feel this way it's okay to be sick it's okay to be different so i would like to say thank you guys so much for watching this has been very hard to talk about and that's and, and that's just how it's gonna be not everything is easy okay thank you guys so much for for watching this and i hope you will share this video around with someone you know have a bad time it's not gonna be like my epic intro on my gameplay videos uh, <laughs> that would be pretty weird so uh, thank you guys so much for watching if you like this video remember to hit the like button below and if you're new to this channel and you would like to see some of my funny gameplay videos or my sketches or something like that remember to hit the subscribe button and the little bell so you don't miss anything this will be all for now speak up for god's sake thank you so much for watching